Welcome to the Oval Office. Come on in. Welcome to our exploration of one of the most iconic residences in the world, the White House. Nestled within the nation's capital in Washington, D.C., lies a powerful symbol of American leadership and history. Serving as the official residence and workplace of the President of the United States, this iconic property has stood witness to pivotal moments in the nation's story. Spanning an impressive 18-acre estate, the White House is made up of the Executive Residence, the East Wing, and the West Wing, with its famed Oval Office as the focal point. Currently, the residence spans six levels encompassing a total of 132 rooms, which includes 16 designated for family and guests, alongside 35 bathrooms sprawled across 55,000 square feet. In this video, we will reveal the interiors of the White House and get a glimpse of the personal lives of its current residents, President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden. From the historic rooms steeped in rich tradition to the modern touches infused by the Biden family, join us on this journey inside the heart of American governance and domestic life. Let's step through the doors of history and discover the stories and secrets hidden within the walls of the White House. Joe and Jill Biden's love story began in the 1970s when Joe, a young widower and senator, met Jill, a teacher, on a blind date arranged by Joe's brother. Despite their vastly different backgrounds, Joe, a seasoned politician, and Jill, a passionate teacher, their connection was immediate. Over the years, the Bidens' relationship blossomed, fueled by shared values, mutual respect, and a commitment to public service. They married in 1977, blending their families and embarking on a life dedicated to making a difference in the lives of others. As Joe's political career advanced, Jill stood by his side, offering support and guidance. Together, they navigated the ups and downs of public life, weathering political challenges, personal tragedies, and triumphs with grace and fortitude. Family has always been at the center of the Bidens' lives, with Joe's sons, Bo and Hunter, from his previous marriage, and their daughter, Ashley. The Bidens created a close-knit and loving family. Throughout his career, Joe Biden has served in various capacities, including as a senator from Delaware over three decades, Vice President of the United States under President Barack Obama, and now as the 46th President of the United States. Jill continued her work as an educator, advocating for policies to support military families, promote education, and improve access to healthcare. Currently, the Bidens reside in the historic White House, and their home serves not only as a seat of executive power, but a symbol of hope, unity, and resilience for the American people. The White House has been an emblem of American leadership and history since its inception in 1792. Commissioned by President George Washington and designed by Irish-born architect James Tobin, it has seen numerous transformations over the centuries. From the early days of John Adams' occupancy in 1800 to the renovations enlisted by presidents like Theodore Roosevelt and Harry S. Truman, the White House has evolved structurally and functionally. Roosevelt's addition of the West Wing and Taft's introduction of the Oval Office marked significant architectural milestones. Today, the White House stands not only as the official residence of the President of the United States, but also as a living museum preserving the nation's heritage for future generations to explore and appreciate. Located at the country's most well-known address, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C., the White House is America's most iconic home, and current President Joe Biden and his wife Jill are living here. In a CNN town hall interview in the past, President Biden described his home as a gilded cage in terms of being able to walk outside and do things. Well, if that's the case, it's a pretty large cage. The expansive structure is made up of three interconnected yet distinct sections. The East Wing, the West Wing, and the executive residence nestled in between. Two colonnades gracefully link them. The White House boasts a total of 132 rooms, 35 bathrooms, 412 doors, and 28 fireplaces. The six-story executive residence is the White House's largest building. It consists of two basement levels, a ground floor where building staff work, a state floor for events and receptions, and two floors where the first family lives and sleeps. 
The oval-shaped blue room on the state floor is used by the president to formally host guests. It boasts blue upholstery, blue curtains, and blue carpet, which has stayed the same color since 1837. Adjacent to the blue room, you'll find two vibrant parlors, the red room adorned with bright red walls and the green room featuring colors to match. The spacious east room, which is actually the largest in the executive residence, hosts a bunch of events, including speeches, ceremonies, and receptions. The Grand State Dining Room accommodates official meals, including elaborate state dinners, seating up to 140 guests. The Lincoln bedroom containing period furnishings from Abraham Lincoln's era is among several private living areas reserved for the first family over on the upper floors. The yellow oval room positioned above the blue room serves as the formal living space for the first family. Moving along, atop the residence, you'll find the solarium, which is also nicknamed the Sky Parlor by former First Lady Grace Coolidge. This space offers panoramic views and a private balcony. Of course, there are also plenty of recreational amenities within the White House, like a one-lane bowling alley beneath the North Portico. There's also a cinema room which runs almost the full length of the East Colonnade. Here, presidents and their families can see any movie they want at any time of the day, even before these films come out in theaters. The East Wing houses offices for the White House's private secretary, the First Lady, and their respective staff members. Then below the East Wing lies a bunker undisclosed on public maps where White House officials sought refuge during the events of 9-11, with another bunker situated beneath the North Lawn. The West Wing serves as the workplace for the president's staff and houses several notable rooms, including the iconic Oval Office, adorned with the historic Resolute Desk. Connecting the Oval Office to the Rose Garden and the official residence, the West Colonnade provides a swift 45-second commute. There's also the Cabinet Room, which serves as the venue for presidential meetings with cabinet members. While over in the Situation Room, in the basement, this is a hub for intelligence and crisis support operations. Operated by the US Navy, the Navy Mess and Ward Room provide dining facilities for White House staff. The Roosevelt Room is decked out with portraits of Theodore and Franklin D. Roosevelt, and this space is often used for official announcements and nominations. Finally, the Vice President's Office, mirroring the Oval Office in design, offers a dedicated workspace within the West Wing. Throughout its history, the White House has continuously evolved to meet the changing needs and preferences of its occupants, while still remaining a symbol of national pride and governance. Now, before President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill took up residence in the White House, they lived in a home located in Wilmington, Delaware. This house is set up overlooking a man-made lake that was created by the wealthy members of the DuPont family. Local real estate agents called this area one of the most expensive in the state, and it's known as Chateau Country, thanks in large part to a group of massive colonial estates that were built in the area, also by the DuPont family. Joe and Jill first purchased the four acres of land that this home sits on back in 1996 for $350,000. Soon after, they built a 6,850 square foot home on the premises, which is now estimated to be worth somewhere in the one to $2 million range. During his vice presidency, it was reported that Joe rented out the cottage on this property to the Secret Service. A few years back, when Joe's son Bo was valiantly fighting against brain cancer, Joe considered selling this home to help pay for the treatments but he was discouraged from doing this by President Barack Obama himself. Instead, President Obama offered to lend him the money instead. Bidens used to be seen around town here frequently, spending time at the local grocery store, Jansen's Market, which is only a five minute drive from this property. They also love to attend the St. Joseph on the Brandywine Roman Catholic Church nearby. As we can see, calling the White House home like President Joe Biden and his wife Jill currently do represents not only a privilege, but also a large responsibility. Beyond its grandeur and historical significance, living within these walls also includes being at the center of global affairs. 
The White House is a place where leaders are shaped by the weight of their decisions and where the course of history is often altered. Ultimately, to call the White House home is to be entrusted with a legacy that goes beyond its individual occupants, embodying the spirit of democracy and the ideals upon which the nation was founded. Well, that's gonna wrap up this tour. Before we go, answer this question for me. Would you want the responsibility of being the president? Why or why not? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. I'm Kara, follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Kara or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.